Welcome to Finding America HD. I'm your host Tom Wiles. Today we're going to be doing something completely different. Uh, we're going to be going to Canada. Uh, my friend Jeff Forrester, uh, aka Trucker Two Times, you can find his uh, podcast at truckertwotimes.com, made a trip uh, up to northern Saskatchewan, Canada, uh, hauling boats up there. And uh, so he was able to stop at uh, Marshall, Saskatchewan and uh, visit with a podcast listener and podcast viewer, Guy. Uh, of course, Guy has emailed me in the past and, uh, you know, so he's been around for a while in the podcast world. And uh, so in any case, uh, Trucker Two Times made this video with his uh, DV camcorder and so I'm going to go ahead and uh, it's not HD, but I'm going to put it in a window and it's uh, still going to be pretty uh, legible. You should be able to see it okay. Uh, but uh, the video uh, is, is pretty interesting. Uh, it's uh, of a truck or two times kind of riding around with him and then they go on a tour of uh, Guy's farm. So let's take a look at the video. How's it going, eh? <laughs> Trucker two times here. Want to uh, introduce this uh, film video here. This is uh, with Guy, a, a nice uh, acquaintance there that I was uh, fortunate to meet there, a podcast listener there that uh, lives over by Marshall, Saskatchewan, uh, just um, a little bit east of uh, Lloyd Minister. Uh, Alberta and a uh, guy here took me on a tour of the ethanol plant of uh, Lord Minster and also of his uh, farm and stuff there and, and uh, shows us uh, the three kinds of uh, grain and stuff that he grows over there. Uh, very interesting, big huge farm that he's got there. So uh, without further ado, uh, here we are on the tour with the uh, guy from uh, God's country of Canada. Enjoy. It's, uh is an upgrader where it takes heavy oil mm -hmm. and it upgrades it to a lighter oil and then they pipe it south and it eventually goes to the U.S. Wow. For the most part of it. Yeah. And then this part up here where the steam's coming out, mm -hmm. that's the uh, that's the ethanol plant. And that, 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 that uses the grain that we grew, some of the grain that we grow. Wow. Yeah. Lord Minister Upgrader, Husky yeah. Oil. Yeah. Now they make, uh, they go ahead and process gasoline, diesel, and all here? Well, yeah, that's, they'll, they make, uh, uh, some of the byproducts of upgrading oil, they end up with diesel. I don't think they end up with gas, but they end up with diesel, and they'll end up with something called ethylene. Uh-huh. And then they end up with coke, which goes into, uh, as part of the process of upgrading it'll it ends up in hopper cars and it gets shipped to the coast and the Japanese use it in steel making. Wow. It. But this is the ethanol plant, this part here. Where now, the, the the biggest percentage of the oil comes from Canada, don't it? Uh I think that yeah you the US is they, actually heavily heavily uh, dependent on on Canadian and they get a lot of it out of the sand out here in Alberta, the sand. Oil sands. Oil sands. Yeah, and that's a, that's about 400, 300 miles from here. Yeah. North. Our oil is, hmm. is called uh, heavy oil. Uh-huh. And it's really thick and black. And that's what this this, com this company does is they upgrade that to a, to a light oil or a medium crude. So this is where we go, like, with our loads of wheat. And you go in there. Yeah. And you... And uh, they have an elevator where those round tubes are, yeah. the vertical things. That's their storage. Oh. And you uh, you dump there. And, but that that plant there uses as much. If we grew all the type of wheat that they wanted, our whole farm would be used up. The grain we produce in one day would be used up at that place. Wow. Yeah. yeah. So. Uh, Ethanol. Now they they make all that, that out of. That's that's the stuff that they're putting in gasoline now to make it more uh, green, eh? like more uh, environmentally friendly. They're putting about 10 or 15 percent uh, ethanol in with the gasoline. So is it kind of like just alcohol or yeah, what? Yeah, basically it's alcohol. Yeah. 
Well, they can't drink an alcohol while out in that. Well, you know, they're really careful. You you can't just get out of your truck and wander around. Like, they won't let you, uh, uh, it's all, it's all, they're scared somebody's going to try and get some of it, eh? Because, yeah, you can drink it. Really? Yeah, yeah, it's not. It's no won't kill you, I mean, it's, it's no, like it's alcohol? No, it's that's grain alcohol. It's like a pure that's grain, rye, pure that's, grain? That's like rye, rye whiskey. <laughs> Only without the good taste. Hmm. I guess it'd be more like vodka. <laughs> and and on taking us on this tour is LTL nine thousand guy right there, man. That's right. What's your what's your video site there on YouTube? Uh Chiwan Guy. C H E W A N G U I. That's, cool. that's my YouTube site. All yeah. right. It's only got about five videos. But... Okay. Yeah, but the guy lives in God's country though. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 you can see here just how open there we already are, and we ain't even got to the farm yet. <laughs> here, let me show y'all how fast we're going here. <laughs> huh? I'm going yeah. a, little, a little under the speed limit here. Huh? I think it's 110 here, actually. 110? Yeah, there. Huh? Ain't that cool? Yeah. Well, now that's in kilometers, not miles an hour, so we're not... <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> we're not, yeah, we're not breaking any records. Yeah. Yeah, we're we're just about three miles from Guy's farm, our yeah. buddy, and we're gonna get him to give us a little bit of a traffic for yeah, we're out here. <laughs> huh? Well, you yeah. can see looking west here uh -huh. that it's not all that heavy. Yeah. We're pretty we're pretty good to go. Uh -huh. And uh looking east, pretty much the same thing. So, yeah, there's a hell of a lot to report. Yeah, on this, the traffic. <laughs> this is my kind of traffic, here, by the way. Uh, <laughs> this is a trucker two times approved area right here, community. <laughs> is this is this a uh, got a name to this area? For this, uh, well, it's called the uh, or the closest area. Yeah, the rural. <laughs> It's in the rural municipality of Wilton. Wow. Yeah. How much some grain, how much each one of them hold up there? Uh, I think uh, just over 5,000 bushels wow. each one. Yeah. Huh. And those ones there that are on hopper bins, yeah. like you don't have to shovel those, they hold about 2,200. Cool. Yeah. So here's, here's Guy's big farm there, buddy. When you get out here, you don't hear no traffic or whining around here, do you? <laughs> no, we're the only noise makers there is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's three miles that way to the neighbors, and it's about a mile and a half that way to the neighbors. Uh huh. And north, I guess you're looking at two miles to the neighbors. South, you're looking at about three miles to the neighbors. Oh. So, Give us a tour here, guys. Okay, well, this is uh, <laughs> this is where we keep most of our machinery in the winter time and in the summertime too, so it doesn't get rained on and sun bleached off. And this here is a Hessen uh, wind rower, yeah. and it's a 30 foot. It's got a 30 foot header on it. And what it does is cuts wheat or canola, and it gathers it and puts it in a in a sloth, and then and then we'll come after it's cured and pick it up with the combines. Cool. Yeah. Hmm. That's and some big, massive equipment, ain't it? Yeah. Well, not. They got stereo and everything in it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Gotta have a, gotta have a good radio, or else nobody'll drive it for you. Yeah. <laughs> gotta have air conditioning too. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, what you hire hire people to help you and stuff? Uh, mostly just Char and I, and then we have the boys come and help. Uh -huh. And we have one lady who comes and drives one of the combines for us. Yeah. She's been doing that for years. Huh. Cool. But most of it we do on our own. No kill time, huh? Yeah. Uh, that's a big cat equipment. What's that big cat thing called? That's our main tractor. That's yeah. what we pull that air, air drill with. Oh. The air drill's just around the corner there. I don't know if it's outside here. You can see it right there. Hmm. That's what we seed everything with. Oh, that's... Yeah. So that's a, called an air drill or a cedar or air, air drill, drill cedar. Air drill, yeah. <laughs> uh, cool. Yeah. And there's your freight liner. 
Yeah, that's the the county. So right here is canola. Yeah, this. And they use that for what? For uh, vegetable oil, canola oil. So that if you mash it up in your hands, would it get greasy or no, what? No, you'd have to be strong man to do that. It's about forty percent oil though. Wow. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Huh. And then I'll, I'll show you some of the. Um, show you some of the other. They also grow uh, yellow field peas, mm -hmm. and they get grow They get uh, used for soup or or uh, uh, thickeners for soup, or else they get used for feed for pigs, to poultry, or beef. Mm -hmm. And um, they're just there's two kinds. We only grow one kind of pea, a yellow pea. There's also green peas that they grow around here. Mm -hmm. And then we grow bread wheat which is a hard red, hard red spring wheat. That's what it looks like. Mm. And that's made, that goes to make just standard bread. Mm. And then we grow this kind of wheat, which is a, a white wheat. And this is the wheat that gets used for pastas or noodle making, or else they use it in the ethanol, to make ethanol fuel. Wow. This is the kind that they use for that. It's mm. called uh, red uh, prairie spring wheat. And that's mainly what we grow. Yeah. Well, thank you, guys. Yeah. So that concludes the uh, tour of uh, uh, the meeting uh, where I met uh, a newly acquainted friend, a uh, guy over here in uh, Saskatchewan, and uh, enjoyed uh, meeting the guy. And uh, uh, it's just one of the great things of podcasting, you know, where is uh, making new friends and meeting new people. And uh, certainly enjoyed the day and uh, dinner with him and his wife there. And uh, thank you again there uh, for that there guy. And, uh, and uh, Char, I believe it was, there, his wife's name. And uh, certainly enjoyed the, the dinner, nice dinner there. They they raised their own uh, cattle and uh, and their own beef, of course, there, you know, and then, uh, of course, the grain stuff they produce and everything there, just a real nice, quiet uh, country farm there. So, certainly enjoyed that. Hope y'all enjoyed it. For now, this is Trucker Two Times from uh, Lord Minister Alberta, and I will catch you later. Thank you for joining me for this episode of Finding America HD, the Canadian version. I want to tell everybody about the GoDaddy.com discount codes. Tom1 is good for 10% off of any purchase or combination of purchases at GoDaddy.com. Tom2 is good for an additional $5 off of any purchase of $30 or more. Finally, Tom3 is good for $6.95.com domain names. Those are normally $9.95. Uh, the, the Tom3 code will actually work if you're renewing your uh, GoDaddy, uh, if you've got some .com uh, domain names that you purchased through GoDaddy.com, then the Tom3 code will work for those as well. And save yourself some money that way. Some restrictions apply. See site for details, GoDaddy.com. Join me next time. I'm Tom Wiles. Thank you for joining me for this episode of Finding America HD, the Canadian version. Uh, Want to remind everyone, you know, that kind of limited the. Uh,